viewers and welcome back to the self-made auto channel that's a 15 Hyundai Sonata and according to the book time it's Sonata your regular brake job which I thought was weird I looked this up for the fella did I gave him a quarter over the phone he said I needed rear brakes and I see that the book time said it was 2.8 hours to do rear pads and rotors on this so I wasn't sure what I was getting into I don't I think I've done brakes on these before I don't really keep track I don't recall them being anything weird. It doesn't look weird. This one, I did notice when I looked up the pads and rotors for it though, that there was a different pad and rotor whether or not it had a mechanical parking brake, you know, i.e. the lever on the floor or electronic parking brake. This one has a mechanical parking brake. The pedal on the floor. Either that or my labor guide is way off. Typical brake jobs at SMA are billed out at 1.3 hours on a regular pad and rotor swap. You know, hat style rotors, not uh, like a two wheel drive bearing type. I don't see anything wonky going on here. I think some of these Hyundais we did, maybe it was the older ones that had that control arm in the way, which was always a pain in the neck. Let's see what happens here. Whoa, fella. Go the right way before you break something. There's that bolt. Bolt down. Get the caliper off. Just push the piston in most of the way. There's our caliper, she's a little dirty. Girl, you dirty. Oh yeah, pads are getting down there pretty dang close. Let's see if we can pull the bracket off. Woo, she's a long-winded one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to that other one. Negative. Have to get some old-fashioned tools stick the bottom bolt back in it, a few threads, that'll keep it from coming up and catching in the bottom of the jaw. You're going to have to move. That's about half old fashioned tools. We'll bring the old 1128 out to play. She's a little mean. See if we can get that in there. See if we got enough blend in the pencil here. To... Okay, ooh. It may have. Let's tighten that bo other bottom bolt back up to get the jiggles out of this thing. Now let's see what happens. Nope, not quite enough. Let's see if we can get rid of this one. You gotta be careful, you don't want to back yourself up against the shock.
Maybe that's where the 2.8 comes in. <laughs> oh, bolts come right out. I thought they'd have Loctite on them, but uh, they don't. Must be they're starting to seize on the straight shank portion of the bolt on these foreign cars. This is typically where that's typically where you see the problem. And what will happen sometimes is, you know, if they're crusty enough, now that's a 15, so it's not too rotted out yet. But uh, let's say it was like a 13, you know, the head will snap right off these. It'll rust right out in a shank, go take it off, boom, the head snaps off. So we're going to take, we got our bracket off here. We'll pull our hardware off. Pins are nice and free. And that's that. We didn't even have to reach in and undo the adjuster. Make sure you save the rubber out of your rotor. It's got a GM style parking brake shoe. One big band, just like Chevrolet. Interestingly enough, there is like Zippo Zero Corrosion. Uh, these are aluminum. The actual knuckle back here. So disregard my previous statement. <laughs> Corrosion off the outside, not the inside. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why they're so stinking tight. down mostly just dirt and grime and junk not to be forgotten you could probably use like your garden hose and a stiff bristle brush some soapy water And then a good rinsing. Or some brake clean, preferred method. Why? No, because it smells good. The old saw or roads are really nasty right now. We got like 18 inches of snow the other day and it's been 40 for the past two days and raining, so it's a mess out there. can so the pistons all the way in a little bit of air behind the boot we'll let her sit sometimes that'll come out on its own we'll go get the bracket ready before we do that we can put our rotor back on a little fluid film coat there to keep her from getting crusty I'll grab our brand new rotor line up our screw holes It's not hitting. Grab our screws. Don't go full gorilla on these. They don't have to be that tight. As you may already know. They're snug. And if you had to drill yours out or chisel them off, forget about it. You don't even need them. All right, there's that. We got a screwdriver over here. We do. Let's look in on our parking brake. Find her wheel. There she is. I'll give her some flex in the upward fashion. We just want to make sure it is fully adjusted. A lot of times you got to back these off even to get the rotor off. 
We still making progress here, fella. Oh, she's tight like a tiger now. I'm gonna just back her off a few clicks here. Got just a real light drag. We'll probably go off just one more click. And then once we cycle the parker brink, everything will recenter. Now it would be my advice to put your rubber plug back in at this point. Because Murphy's Law says if you put everything all together and you put your rubber plug in and everything's on, you'll push it all the way through and then you got to take everything back apart. I don't know about this Murphy guy or the laws that he writes. So when you look at your rubber plug, it has a flat side on it, on the inside, the mushroom head portion of it. It's got a little flat side that goes down, goes against the face of the rotor or the face of the hub. And it just pokes in there like a so. And that's that. And like every brake job we've ever done, you have to clean your caliper bracket. Whether you use a file, whatever you use, get the rusty bits out of there. And then we need to lube it. Because we like to lube it, lube it. I like to lube it. You guys know that song? I don't think it's lube it, but it could be. It could be like a, a brake jingle for a fancy brake company. Maybe I'll submit my idea to Napper. They can have little lemurs singing the song, or I could sing the song for them. Either way, so we'll get that lubed up. That'll help keep it from getting the, the rusty crusties again. All right, we'll open up our premium pads from Napper, not a sponsor. They should be though. What's the matter with you? I give up. Let's try this one. Jeez. Ah! Just gotta click them on. Oh, man. We'll try this one on this side. We won't give up on it. She might be just crimped a little tight. Thunder. Never not give up. You son of a monkey. Well, that one's just gonna pee me off. Try hitting something. I'm just going to give her a light tap. Where they crimped the top piece or stamped it. She's pushed together a schmidge tight. So I just have to love tap it on there a little just to get it started. Suppose you could sit there and tweak it back, but you know, once it's on, it's a BEA utiful. Uh, let's see how many squeakers we got. Well, our squeaker on the inside up towards the top. So that'll be this one. Sometimes you can put them in and turn it, not the case here. Clearly. Make sure that hardware is on all the way. go once you put them in oops I'm out of frame you guys gotta be able to make sure that you can easily move it with your printers now these have some tension on them on the bottom the anti-rattle portion of it puts a little spring tension on them I want to make sure these ones are in all the way and they are still with me They start by hand. No sweat. Have a look at the old pins. Looks nice and greasy. 
Don't overdo it. Still nice and greasy. I'm happy with that. We can go stick it back on. Slide her over. We'll get our bolts back started. You know what? I'm getting smart about this. I'm going to lube these up just a smidge. Keep them from getting stuck in there, whatever the heck they were sticking on. Some we Loctite, some we lube. I guess depending on the design. Probably also depends on where you live. There's that. Let's see if the old 1120 will run these babies home. Here. We'll make sure they're torqued, or at least snugged up good and tight. Not something you want to fall off. There's that. Not a problem. I'll grab some lube here. We'll lube up our caliper. Oh, look at that. What a freaking rookie. That is a mess. Caliper ears. Not the rotor. Don't be lubing up the rotor. I'll do the piston face. Keep that from getting crusty in the future. Can't believe I did that. Right on camera, too. What a ding dong. Now what am I going to do with it? Just spread it around, make a bigger mess. Right. Don't have a napkin over here. Now oh, I need to do something. Rookie mistake. There, problem solved. Start the top bolt here in our caliper, which you probably can't see. Start the top bolt. Swing her down, make sure you're not getting the boot on the piston face all wadded up. For some reason, ours does not want to swing down. And that's because of the two rivets on the inside of the pad. They're actually hitting my boot. So I'm going to take the top bolt back out, make sure my pad's in all the way, come around this way, and just go down. Either way, jeez, amateur hour. That's it, fellas. Caliper moves nice and free. Our parking brakes adjusted. I did wipe off my gotten green sheet. Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm gonna take and get some brake clean, go around the rotor here real quick. Rotors used to come packed in like a packing grease. Not anymore. They just have like this uh, film, the anti-corrosive paper they wrap around it. They don't really have any more grease on them. They used to have to clean everyone, they'd just be dripping with oil, but these don't have much stuff on them anymore, unless you put it on there like I did. So that's it, folks. No idea why the book time is so out of whack on this one. Uh, clearly, I'm not going to charge my customers a 2.8 that I quoted them on, because that's ridiculous. Maybe they had their labor times mixed up for the electric parking brake. I think those ones use a screw-in caliper and a, you know, electronic-mounted parking brake actuator. Is, is what I'm pretty sure that Hyundai uses. If you've made it this far, put your wheel back on, pump up your brakes before you take it for a ride, make sure your brake pedal's nice and stiff, take her for a little toot, let the pad seat in, all that business. Of course, do the brake on the other side. I might have mentioned that. Uh, any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, put them down there in that comment box and while you're down there, ring that bell. Click subscribe, but not in that order. Click subscribe first. 
And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.